My journey included medication during my childhood. Assurances that I would outgrow ADHD led me to halt medication in college, making everything significantly challenging. Math is my nemesis, boring and confusing. Despite my teacher's encouragement, I perceive myself as inherently bad at it. I feel like a failure. Homework slips through the cracks, and I can't seem to get anything right. Being different is hard. Work appears effortless for everyone else, emphasizing my struggles. These narratives echo the experiences of those grappling with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD. This neurodevelopmental challenge extends its impact across generations, from children and teenagers to adults. The obstacles it presents in concentration, attention span, organization, and impulsivity create a complex tapestry of life difficulties. This is more than a childhood concern. ADHD often continues to weave its challenges into adolescence and adulthood. Understanding ADHD, a personalized exploration. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, is a neurodevelopmental condition that presents itself in three primary types, each characterized by distinct symptoms. The first subtype, known as inattentive ADHD, is marked by persistent challenges in maintaining focus, organizing tasks, and completing assignments. Individuals with inattentive ADHD often find themselves easily distracted, struggling to stay engaged in activities that demand sustained attention. The second subtype, hyperactive impulsive ADHD, manifests as heightened restlessness, impulsive behavior, and difficulties in self-control. Those with this subtype may experience an inner sense of restlessness, engage in impulsive decision-making, and grapple with regulating their actions. The third subtype, combined ADHD, incorporates features of both inattentive and hyperactive impulsive presentations. Diagnosing ADHD requires a thorough evaluation, where identification of at least six symptoms from either inattentive or hyperactive impulsive types or a combination leading to a cumulative count of six is essential. This diagnostic criterion ensures a comprehensive understanding of the diverse ways ADHD may manifest, allowing for tailored interventions and support for individuals exhibiting varied symptoms within this spectrum. Exploring ADHD over time. The historical perspective on attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, has undergone a significant transformation since its initial characterization as hyperkinetic impulse disorder in the 1960s. As we progressed into the late 20th century, a notable shift in perception was marked by a widespread acknowledgement of ADHD. This evolution in understanding transcends the earlier notion of perceiving it merely as a behavioral issue. Instead, contemporary perspectives delve into the intricate complexities that define the disorder, recognizing the multifaceted nature of ADHD and embracing a more nuanced comprehension of its origins and manifestations. Societal Perceptions and the Uphill Battle Navigating through life with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, is akin to maneuvering through a maze of societal misconceptions and stigmas. The multifaceted challenges posed by difficulties in attention, organization, and impulsivity extend far beyond the individual's internal struggles, reaching into the external realms of education and professional life. This intricate interplay between the disorder and societal expectations can cast a shadow over one's journey, making it crucial to delve into the nuanced layers of these experiences. In the academic arena, the hurdles are particularly pronounced. Traditional educational settings, designed with a standard learning approach, may not align with the unique cognitive styles of individuals with ADHD. This mismatch often leads to misinterpretations of their capabilities, fostering an environment where their efforts are misunderstood and their intentions misconstrued. Consequently, the narrative surrounding their academic performance tends to focus on perceived carelessness, disrespect, or disinterest perpetuating a cycle of societal misjudgment. For children grappling with ADHD, this misalignment in educational settings can have profound effects. The impact extends beyond mere academic performance, seeping into emotional well-being and self-esteem. 
Faced with an environment that fails to cater to their specific needs, these children may experience frustration, a sense of isolation, and a decline in self-worth. The struggles within the educational system, unfortunately, do not cease with the transition into adulthood. As individuals with ADHD progress into adulthood, they are met with the continued reverberations of their condition in both academic and professional pursuits. The expectations of organizational skills sustained attention and impulse control in the workplace can pose significant challenges. The societal lens, which may not be equipped to fully comprehend the intricacies of ADHD, often leads to the perpetuation of stereotypes and misconceptions. This not only adds layers of complexity to their professional journey, but also intensifies the struggle to assert competence and capability in a world that may not entirely grasp the nuances of ADHD. In essence, the societal misconceptions surrounding ADHD create a landscape where individuals with the disorder find themselves not only contending with the inherent complexities of their condition, but also battling against external judgments and biases. To foster a more inclusive and understanding society, it becomes imperative to unravel the layers of misunderstanding and cultivate an environment that recognizes and accommodates the unique strengths and challenges of those navigating life with ADHD. The Struggles of Living with ADHD The stories shared at the outset offer glimpses into the multifaceted challenges faced by individuals with ADHD. Difficulties in completing tasks, sustaining focus, and adhering to schedules impact academic performance and daily life. Societal expectations, interpersonal relationships, and prevailing norms may compound the hurdles for these individuals. For those grappling with hyperactive impulsive symptoms, the struggle to control impulses and regulate behavior can result in spontaneous actions misinterpreted by others. The perpetual need for movement and restlessness might be perceived as disruptive, contributing to social challenges. Societal Perspectives and the Need for Understanding Creating awareness about ADHD is paramount to fostering understanding and empathy. A shift in society's perception from judgment to acknowledgement of unique strengths and challenges is essential. Educational systems, workplaces, and social environments must adapt to accommodate diverse learning styles and working preferences. Moreover, it is crucial to recognize that ADHD is not indicative of a lack of intelligence or motivation. Many individuals with ADHD possess exceptional talents, creativity, and problem-solving skills. Embracing neurodiversity can lead to an inclusive society that values the contributions of every individual. Treatment Approaches and Reclaiming Normalcy In the intricate tapestry of Managing Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, the beacon of hope shines brightly through effective treatment approaches. Central to this journey is the recognition that early diagnosis is a pivotal gateway, enabling interventions finely tuned to individual needs and nuances. For the younger cohort, behavioral therapy emerges as a cornerstone, a dynamic process that extends beyond the individual to encompass active parental participation. This collaborative approach aims to construct a familial environment that is not only understanding, but actively supportive. Through skill-building exercises and strategic interventions, behavioral therapy becomes a compass guiding young minds through the labyrinth of ADHD-related challenges. As individuals transition into school-aged years and eventually adulthood, the arsenal of treatment options expands, with medication taking center stage. A comprehensive approach often involves the judicious use of medication or a synergistic blend of medication and therapy. Stimulant medications such as those containing methylphenidate or amphetamine have emerged as stalwarts in the treatment landscape. These medications exhibit efficacy in enhancing focus and curbing impulsivity providing a tangible lifeline to those navigating the daily complexities of ADHD. Notably, the treatment landscape accommodates the diverse needs of the population, recognizing that a one-size-fits-all approach does not suffice. Non-stimulant medications, particularly favored for their suitability among younger children, present alternative avenues, ensuring a customized and nuanced response to the challenges posed by ADHD. Embarking on the path of appropriate ADHD treatment, 
is synonymous with embarking on a transformative journey. For those engaged in behavioral therapy, the acquired skills transcend the immediate challenges of ADHD, becoming invaluable tools for navigating life's multifaceted demands. Time management, organization, and self-regulation become not just aspirations but tangible strengths that weave into the fabric of daily life. Medications, acting as allies in this transformative process, wield the power to enhance attention spans and create a shield against the myriad distractions that populate the world. The outcomes of such interventions ripple across various facets of life. Academic performance, often an arena where individuals with ADHD encounter formidable challenges, witnesses a significant upswing. Interpersonal relationships, too, undergo a positive metamorphosis as individuals find themselves equipped with newfound abilities to engage and connect meaningfully. In essence, the journey of reclaiming normalcy through ADHD treatment is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the advancements in our understanding of neurodiversity. It is a journey marked not just by overcoming challenges, but by flourishing in the face of adversity, emerging with a strengthened sense of self and a toolkit that empowers individuals to navigate the intricate dance of life with confidence and capability. In conclusion, while ADHD poses formidable challenges, it is not an insurmountable barrier. The voices shared initially are testimonies to the difficulties faced by those with ADHD, reflecting resilience and the potential for positive outcomes. Understanding ADHD's historical context, societal perceptions, and diverse struggles is crucial for fostering a compassionate and inclusive society. Treatment, coupled with awareness and support, becomes the pathway for individuals with ADHD to lead fulfilling lives. Embracing the diversity of neurodevelopmental profiles contributes to a richer, more tolerant society, valuing each individual's unique strengths and perspectives. ADHD, rather than an impediment, becomes an integral part of the vibrant tapestry of human diversity.